What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. Some modded Subnautica at that. And it uh, seems like a risen join. Having a good time. That's wonderful, wonderful. Anyways, what did we do? Well, last episode, we got our own Ion Cube generating device which is super amazing. I love it. It's fantastic. It's going to help us do the things and the stuff. And we are going to start some of that today. Today, we are going to work on getting the hydroponic gardens going. I want to check those out. I want to see what they're about. Um, yes, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And before we get any further, I got to say a quick shout out to today's sponsor of this video, Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a modern, sleek, industrial upgrade to the old flappy wallet that you probably have sitting in your back pocket that does absolutely nothing but collect junk and clutter and receipts and stuff that you don't need anymore. Instead, upgrade to something more modern, something new, something in the 21st century, like a Ridge Wallet. You can get multiple different colors. They have over 40 colors and types to choose from. You can get the super amazing camo. I know you can't see it, but it's there. Or you can get some sleek industrial carbon fiber. Now, if you're worried about the cash stuff, guess what? You got cash strap, you got cash clip, both of them, boom, ready to go. Now, if you can't decide, I want a cash strap, I want a cash clip. I don't know. Don't worry. They've got you covered with the easy to upgrade option. Each wallet is designed to hold up to 12 cards. And with their over 30,000 five-star reviews, they are so confident that you're gonna like your Ridge wallet that you can test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it for any reason, you can send it back full refund, no questions asked. And to top it off, each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. That means you can buy one for now, use it forever, use it for your lifetime, hand it down to your kids, use it for their lifetime. Who knows, you might just have a family heirloom. Do yourself a favor, cut the clutter, upgrade to the Ridge wallet today. Go to ridge.com slash gaming That's ridge.com slash gaming Get 10% off your purchase and free worldwide delivery and returns. That's ridge.com slash gaming Use code Z1Gaming. And thank you again for sponsoring this video, Ridge. Let's get back to it all right so last episode we made the nuclear reactors and i gotta say i think the nuclear reactors might be the way to go for base powery stuff um let me go check on let me check on the uh the status of this guy see if we have any rods that are like used up yet uh reactor rod reactor rod reactor rod so it looks like it's good to go um that is super handy i keep hitting the wrong button to get out of this man every game i swear every game has like a different like tab interface like uh, inventory menu <laughs> it's just like there needs to be a standard across the board anyways okay so fcs tech um hydroponic harvester so a floor clean removes fertilizer residues that can accumulate over time in uh hydroponic systems growing media and potting soils use floor clean monthly to purge your hydroponic harvester system or pot of plants of excess salts that can accumulate as a result of regular fertilizer application floor clean is an excellent final flush it can be used to dissolve mineral and salt buildup okay so that might be something we have to do so they're small medium and large i'm thinking that we need to make a little bit of all of them uh let's start with the small one uh so synthetic fibers i i don't think i've actually made those yet but synthetic fibers aren't that hard to make synthetic fibers we need benzene and fiber mesh so benzene if i'm not mistaken oh it's just three blood oil well, that's super easy. And then fiber mesh. Uh, what is the fiber mesh? Fiber mesh is just grapevine sample. Heck yeah, that's super easy. Okay, so let's get started with that home. Let's go ahead and deposit this stuff in here. I probably should make some more servers uh, as well to make sure everything gets stored like like it should. But I think it'll be all right. Now, um, I got some more blood oil planted. Actually, since we're going to be utilizing the blood oil for this, let's go ahead and get these planted as well. So that'll give us a couple more plants. All right, so we're going to have to kind of wait for that to get done. We can, in the meantime, start making some... Uh, we can start making some fiber mesh. That's fantastic. How's this guy looking? Is this guy doing... Is, are you all right? Do you need, like, lubricant or anything? No. Did I supply it with lubricant? Maybe I did. I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, so I got six fiber mesh... Uh, let's see what else we were needing here. So we're going to need uh, synthetic fibers, which is what the fiber mesh is for. Silicon rubber, enamel glass, advanced wiring kit, and purple tablet. All right. So like I said, we're going to start with a small one. Enameled glass, advanced wiring kit, and purple tablet. What do I need for uh, enameled glass? I feel like I should have the stuff for that. I do. Okay. So let's make a few of those, I guess. Okay, I guess we can make two. <laughs> we can we can make two. That's good. Uh, there's two in animal glass. 
And then we also need, we need advanced wiring kits. We need advanced wiring kits for like literally everything. Uh, hoping we have enough stuff to make a few of them. Oh, we do. That's three. Okay, we made three advanced wiring kits. We'll go ahead and throw that into storage as well. Advanced wiring kits. Perfect. Three right there. Wonderful. All right. So now synthetic fibers and purple tablet. Purple tablet. Uh, that is going to be a equipment item. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Uh, actually, I could probably make a few of those. Let's make a couple. Because we're going to need, like, what? One for each one? For each side? Well, okay. I guess we got two. <laughs> we're going to have to go visit our uh, our auto miners. Is that going to go in there? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then synthetic fibers. So all I need is the benzene. I'm still waiting for these things to grow a little bit. There's 16%. That one's 32%. These ones are, like, good. There's blood oil. But I need three blood oil for each benzene. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Okay. Blood oil. I need you. All right, so we have three blood oil, so we should be able to make our first synthetic fiber, which means we should be able to make our first... Uh, okay, let's grab, grab that. And it'll make synthetic fibers. Perfect. We should be able to make our first hydroponic harvester. Now, I'm curious. Oh, I'm so curious of how this is going to work. Okay, so small hydroponic harvester. Uh, okay, so there's that. Let's go and get this placed up. Um, so I'm curious because... Uh, I want to know if, like, do do small ones fit, like, small plants? Medium fit, like, medium-sized plants? And large fit large plants? You know what I mean? Like, is there a plant size according to each one? Um, Let's put... Let's make these three rooms right here our hydroponic harvesting rooms. Okay, so... Grab this guy. Uh, interior... Interior modules? Interior modules. Okay, so I need... Miscellaneous? Yeah, 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 miscellaneous. Okay, small hydroponic harvester. Uh, Put that right there. Okay, so we have this. Time left until dirty is 17 hours. Hydroponic harvester control panel. Okay, so it looks like um, switch unit harvester bed mode. Water slash land. Oh, it's like the two items that, okay. Add floor clean, change power level, current DNA samples, none, change device colors, toggle internal light. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ear door, <laughs> what is the ear door? There's the door there. Okay, uh, let's go get a marble melon as our DNA sample because like that's a, a food source. But I'm thinking that it might actually be beneficial to have, like, uh, you know, the gel sacks in there, the acid mushrooms, the blood oil, if you will. Okay, so let's grab that. Um, now, do I have to break that into a seed first? Let's check this out. Okay, let's go in here. DNA samples. Usable, edible DNA samples. Marble melon plant DNA. Okay, so that gave me... Marble plant DNA sample. Okay, so let's go put that in the harvester. And let's see what it does. My guess is that add DNA sample. Okay. Current DNA sample. Take marble melon. Delete marble melon DNA sample. Oh, it has zero power per second. Zero of 25 items. Minimal. Power. Two power per second. So does that... Is that going to give me marble melon? I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing this is slow. Hold on. Let's just... Let's turn it to max. 25 power per second. That's fine. I want to see if this thing does anything. Like I want to see if we just get a free marble melon out of this guy. Oh, wow. We are using all... Oh, these use so much power. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we need more nuclear reactors. For sure. I'm not going to leave these to max. Because, like, there's no reason for that. I just kind of want to see, like, what happens and how this is going to work. Because it looks like... I need to get rid of those... Uh, I need to get rid of those things. Okay, there we go. That looks better. 
So even on max power, I still have zero. I'll go internal light. Maybe it just takes a while. Okay, we'll just we'll just let it take we'll just let it take uh take a while, I guess. Maybe it just maybe maybe it doesn't grow if you watch it. Is that the problem? <laughs> Could be. Could be. Uh oh, our power's going back up now though. Hmm. Oh, we got one! <gasps> we have one over return. Oh buddy! Okay. Alright, let's turn that to uh We'll leave that to minimal power. Uh it's two per second. That's fine. Oh, that is fantastic. That is super cool. Alright, I need more. I need more. We need so we at least need uh one for all of our outside samples. Which would be uh the blood oil. Oh, the blood oil we might have to have a larger. We might have to have a larger one. So I'd like to get one for mm, maybe creep vine, blood oil, gel sack, uh, deep shroom. Oh, we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. I need, uh, actually, the only thing I need is benzene, though. So I'm just literally waiting on the blood oil to get done so we can, uh, so we can do that. Nice. You know, I think it's time to make another nuclear reactor. Um, I'm gonna get the stuff. Actually, all I needed was a plastic lingot too, so that's kind of fantastic. <laughs> lucky us, lucky us. Um, we're gonna get another nuclear reactor in here to supply power, and then I need to make more. Uh, I need to make more reactor rods. So let's see. Let's go down in here. Boop. Fantastic. Uh, so there's gonna be a reactor here. This is gonna be my data storage room. I'm gonna put up the the data storage things in here. And then we'll have a screen up top in like a, a, a centralized control room, probably. Uh, but then we're going to throw another nuclear reactor right in here. Let's go ahead and turn that this way. Fantastic. Looking good. Okay. Ta-da. All right. So now I need more reactor rods. I couldn't make any more last time, though. I could only make like three. Why? Mm. Titanium and glass. I'm out of glass. Really? Oh, Okay. Is this thing getting sand for us again? It is. One, two, three. And there's some titanium. Are you still getting sand? What did, what did I have your settings at? Uh, You know what? Let's let it get sand. No, we're going to let it get sand. Because I think one thing of sand actually turns into a glass versus two things of quartz. So that would give us 12 glass a day instead of six. I like it. So there's one reactor rod. I don't know why there's a separate fabricator for that. I'm not actually sure. There's two reactor rods. I don't know how many we can make, honestly. <laughs> there's three reactor rods. Okay, so we'll go put these three in the new one. I don't think I can make any more than that. I feel like I'm going to be out of something. Yeah, okay. I'm out of a uh, urinite and titanium and glass. Okay, we're out of like all the things. All right, let's go put those on the new one. Get power generation going on that guy as well. Hello, nuclear reactor. Would you like to come to life? Yeah, buddy. Charge is all oh, looking good. Process nuclear reactor rods. Oh, nice. Power's filling up very nicely. Um, I think we're going to remove our wind turbines. Uh, because I just don't think th I th they're probably all broken again. And honestly, the nuclear reactors are just like, they're going to be way too handy. And we're getting uranite crystals and lead anyways. I bet you these are all like broke. 38%, 5%. That one's broke. That one's broke. That one's broke. Yeah, we're just going to, uh, I think we're just going to get rid of these guys. Because they just, they just deteriorate so fast. You know, actually, let's not get rid of them. Let me just go into the settings and adjust it so that they don't have a maintenance cost. And we'll just leave these ones. I'm not going to build any more because, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that. Actually, I don't even see an option to get rid of that. Okay, so maybe they will just be going down. I just don't like it. Um, I don't want them broken because if they're broken, it's the uh, everything is going to try to constantly make power to make up for uh, for what's going on in there. So, yeah, we're just going to get rid of them. All right, so there was actually an update for the wind turbines. So I think I got them to no longer need maintenance. Oh, and they have a nice little color now. <gasps> oh. 
and they smoothed them out too okay so there should now uh be no maintenance fantastic okay so yeah there's an update for this mod um and then basically there's like a uh, a config.txt file that you can go in and turn uh maintenance to a false so nice and they got an update i like it i like it actually it was updated today too so that's really funny <laughs> that's time of recording awesome okay so now those are good our power should be flying off the charts it's looking nice we have a let we how do we have eleven thousand? is it because those are all working now how did i get to eleven thousand power was it the addition of the it must have been the addition of the nuclear power deal okay cool cool so we need i need more hydroponic harvesters we need a lot more um okay so we have that so basically we could make another small one i want to make a medium i want to make one of each size first uh and then kind of go off of what sizes i need for what things so let's get some silicone rubber some th some synthetic fibers and more enameled glass uh enameled glass shouldn't be too hard to make here synthetic fiber shouldn't be too hard to make uh blood oil is like my issue right now okay so there's those let's go ahead and make some synthetic fiber shall we oh my gosh blood oil is the worst <laughs> it takes forever all right uh one more thing is synthetic fibers okay so that looks good let's see do we have hydroponic harvester okay so i need enamel glass and silicone rubber do i not have the stuff for enameled glass oh i don't i think i'm out of stalker teeth oh we need to go get stalker teeth. Let's go find some stalker teeth. Actually, can I put that on the scanner? I wonder if we can scan for stalker teeth. Yes, we can. Absolutely. Oh, that's going to be super nice. <gasps> There's a stalker tooth right there. Any more? Uh oh. Uh, pretty sure if there was more stalker teeth, it would have already shown up by now because we have like some speed modules on that scanner room. Oh no. Uh, not good. I don't think there's any more. Shoot. Uh, let me see. Can we put a range upgrade? A scanner room range upgrade. Let's put one of those on here. See if we can get some more range off this bad boy. Scanner room upgrades. Where's the range? Perfect. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. I might need to, uh... I need to increase the range even further. How are there no stalker teeth? Like, what's going on here? It's probably because I've stole all the titanium from them. Okay, I need to go find titanium, and I need to supplement the stalkers with titanium because apparently they're not dropping any stalker teeth. Oh, stalker teeth popping up. Nice. Hey, guys. Uh, Oh, you got some titanium over here. You got your own little little batch of titanium. All right, cool, cool. You can, you can keep that. Uh, let's see any more stalkers. This is your stalker over here. You have any titanium? You guys need some titanium? I have some titanium. Oh, they got a whole bunch. Here, here you go. Uh, here you go, guys. Enjoy. More, more titanium for you. I'll let you have it because I need your teeth. <laughs> I need your teeth so bad, and I'm going to need your teeth. I wonder if you could like, can can we farm stalkers and then like get their teeth? Hmm. Okay, I supplemented the the stalkers. So hopefully they'll start dropping some teeth here a little bit faster. I wonder if the scanner room can't reach out to this area. Because our scanner room is probably 100, 200 meters away. I feel like it could reach out here, though. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to park a camera over here. And uh, see where it's at on the scanner room to see if, if, if it's actually going to reach or not. All right. Camera one. Here's camera two. Uh, is this? Uh oh. Can't connect. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's take it over here. All right, stalkers, you're under observation. Okay, so where is that camera at? Ooh, see that camera's right there and the stalkers are all like right in this area. Let's throw another uh let's throw another range upgrade on here. Uh range. Let's go ahead and take a speed one out and throw another range in there. 
and hopefully that'll have that area. There's a whole bunch over here apparently though, so that's, I mean, we'll go grab those too. All right, stalker teeth have been added. We have like 10 of those things, heck yes. Looking good. Let's get some enameled glass in here, shall we? Oh, see, now we're getting all the, the oils. Fantastic. Okay, do we have enough for an, what am I out of? Oh, silicone rubber? Shoot, that's too easy, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep making synthetic fibers too, because like I said, I wanna get a large one too. I wanna get one of each size and I wanna figure out what we're gonna need all of these for and what they're, uh, what each one's like capable of. Oh, I need to get some water. Gotta drink the water. This uh, little water machine is definitely one of my favorite mods. Like this thing is fantastic. Okay, so we should have everything we need now to build a medium. Oh, we could build a large too. Let's build a medium to start with. Let's go, let's work our way up. And what do I need for the large? Uh, advanced wiring kit, purple tablet, uh, synthetic fibers. Um, uh, What am I out of as far as purple tablet stuff goes though? Um, diamond? Oh, I'm gonna go grab diamond. And then advanced wiring kit, what do I need for that? I'm out of gold, ugh. So I need to go get gold and diamond. Oh, we need to bring all that stuff back because I need to actually make more server racks as well. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the medium one placed for now. And let's see what it looks like. Now, I'm trying to decide, do I want to have different rooms for different sizes? So like uh smalls, you know, here, medium and then large. Maybe let's do that. Let's put a let's put a medium one over here. Kind of see what it looks like. Uh miscellaneous, medium. This is a medium, right? It's got to be a medium. Yeah, medium hydroponic harvester. It's the same size. Is it the same size? Uh, I want them next to each other so I can compare. <laughs> I need to be able to compare them. Uh, medium. Put that one right there. They look the same. Add DNA sample. Oh, so this one can do two. Oh. Wait, so could I put, hold on a second. Let's go get, uh, let's go down into here and let's get gel sack maybe? Let's grab two gel sack and let's grab two of these as well. Let's get some DNA samples of those. Um, so could I have one machine do two different items? Maybe? DNA samples, uh, edible, no, usable. Let's do deep shrooms, let's get two of those. And then let's get gel sack. All right, now, can I put two separate things into a hydroponic harvester or they all have to be the same? Let's see, okay, so insert, uh, let's do one of those. Incorrect environment, please switch grow bed mode to another. Uh, let's get rid of my build tool. Switch harvester mode, water land. So is that the right build mode? Is it water, water? So swap and swap. Oh, <gasps> we could grow two at a time. Let's turn on minimum. <gasps> oh, that's a huge deal. That is amazing. Forget the small one. Because I think it's this. Nope slightly longer it is slightly longer oh that is nice you know what we could turn these on low because we definitely have we definitely have the power for it um let's take some marble melons let's eat those nice so then i guess a four one is going to have or a large is probably gonna have four slots and it can do four at a time Oh my gosh, I am so excited for that. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, so we need to go get, uh, we need to go get gold and we need to go get, hmm. What do I have in my inventory? Uh, let's put some stuff away. 480 items. I should have enough storage for all of this stuff. Okay, so let's go grab, let's go grab the gold. I need to grab gold and copper. Um, I think we have copper in here, though, if I'm not mistaken. We also have gold in here, too. Well, hold on. Let me just grab that. 
All right, so now we actually should be good uh, as far as advanced wiring kits. Fantastic. But we are still missing purple tablet, right? And synthetic, synthetic fibers. Okay, so we have to go. We, we're going to have to go grab diamond, unfortunately. Let me make sure. Is that the last thing we're missing? Purple tablet. Perfect. Let's go grab some diamond. Now, I'm not sure if this one has diamond coming from it. Uh, we're going to check it, though. Make sure that ghost leviathan is not over here. Go to inventory page. Um, no diamond. Okay, but I will take the I'll take the uranite crystals. I will take some ruby. We'll take some of this as well. And I'll go ahead and throw some of that in storage. Because we're gonna need all this stuff anyways for other stuff, especially the uranite crystals. We're gonna need those for um We're gonna need those for uh I should grab some lithium too. Okay, that looks good. Alright, let's go grab diamond. We're gonna need that stuff for, for base upgrades and things like that eventually because i have a feeling we're gonna start needing to reinforce some walls at some point all right so let's go back to drill two we'll grab some diamond i hear you being nasty i think it's stuck like in one of these rocks like behind a wall or something all right this guy should have diamond if i'm not mistaken do you have diamond for me yes you do all right i'm gonna take as many of these as i can Perfect. So I need to turn my uh, scanner room off too, as well. So you guys need to remind me to do that <laughs> when I get back to the base. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to equipment, purple tablet, and we are good. Let's build a large one. Now my guess, uh, large hydroponic harvester. My guess is that it's going to be able to hold four items, maybe. This is not the right way. Oh, I need to turn this off. Thanks for reminding me. I appreciate it. All right. So large. Hydroponic harvester. Right there. Small, medium, large. Wonderful. Uh, okay, so let's look at the inventory. Hold on, let me put my build tool away. That messes up stuff. Uh, yeah, so four items. Okay, cool. But let's say. So I understand why there's different sizes. Because if you have four items doing the same thing, basically it allows you to control how many of which item you want. So say you only have one item that you want like a little bit more than the other ones. I guess you could use this or I mean, I guess you could put four marble melons into this one and be producing four of them at a time. I don't know. I think it gives you options. It just gives you options. I like that. Let me go grab blood oil because blood oil is one of the things that we're uh, gathering and I'm thinking that's going to work. Now, I'm actually kind of curious too about this. So I wonder if I can do a creep vine seed to get creep vine seeds and if i can do creep vine to get creep vine you know what i mean i'm not actually positive so like let's see um i'm gonna need a decent amount of blood oil so let's see if we can make blood oil uh dna samples that's gonna be in this one dna usable blood oil okay so we have four blood oil samples and then we can throw those in the large hydroponic harvester and it's going to give me a lot more blood oil a lot faster. And I'm actually wondering, does this count towards my base? Uh, switch container. Oh, incorrect to grow environment. Okay, I'll swap that. Uh, so underwater, above water. So like water land and then water water. Uh, it doesn't say water water, but yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Okay, so let's put these in here. Um, oh, so it did them all at the same. Hmm. Now, does that give me, is that going to give me four blood oil every time it does its cycle? Or is it only going to be one? blood oil i imagine it's probably gonna be four because if it was different ones like each one of these gives me one of each so this is probably gonna be four blood oil every cycle that would make sense that would make sense if it did that this is super cool i love these things i absolutely love these things now the other thing that goes along with these is the uh the flora clean machine so let's go see what we need for that. It should be fairly simple and fairly uh, easy to get because after there was a timer on there of when it's going to need cleaned next. So let's see what we need for flora clean. Oh, no, it's just a uh, it's just 
We need large filtered water. Hmm. These don't make large filtered waters. These only make small ones. So, oh, actually, you know what that would be perfect for? Hold on a second. Two filtered water and a salt deposit? That'd be perfect for a, uh, a water filtration machine. That'd be absolutely perfect because then it, I mean, you get two large filtered water and a salt every time. So that would be super ideal. Uh, let's see, do I have this stuff? Do I have it? I think I have it. Uh, water filtration machine, but I don't have the stuff for it. So titanium copper wire and aerogel. Do I not have the stuff to make like aerogel? I do, there's aerogel. Uh, and then copper wire. I should have the stuff for copper wire. Uh, and then I should have titanium as well in my... Uh, uh-oh. Maybe I don't. Darn it. Do I have copper wire in here? I do. I also want to see if I can put this antenna, if I can get one of these antennas and put it on here, if that'll connect up this whole little area. So that way I don't have to constantly go over there and grab it myself. Uh, okay, we're good on that. Let's bring it... Where do I want this? Let's bring it in here. And then I'm going to put another fabricator, I think, on the wall right here for uh, just to make the floor clean for this. Because you can see there's a timer left. Uh, time left until dirty is 17 hours, 25 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, and I'm sure that's probably based on how fast it's working. Oh, see, that gave me two and that's only one. Hmm. Interesting. 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 This is super cool, though. I absolutely love these things. And we can actually change the color. So let's see. We could change it to green <gasps> because it's like hydroponic or we can change it to red because... I mean, it's red, of course. Ooh. That looks pink. That looks pretty bright red. Hmm. Part of me wants to have it green because it's a hydroponic thing, you know? The other part of me wants me to have it red because, uh, red, you know? Red. Red. There's a lot of different shades of red. Jeez. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Is that default? No, that is not default. If there's a black one, oh, that looks cool too. And then there's the white man. That's super cool. I love these things. I love these mods. So let's see. Do we get any of those? No, not yet. Blood oil takes a while. So I'm actually kind of wondering if maybe we should pump up the power on that. Also, our power is going down. Oh, it's probably because of this guy too. Uh, let's hold on. Let's do a quick check on these. Are any of these depleted? No, I don't see them de depleted. That's 25 of 25. You know what? Is this 25 of 25? It's taking the wind turbine power. It's taking that power first before it's taking these. And those are 2,500, so that's 5,000. How did I get up to 1,100 power? Or 11,000 power, though? Because these things only produce 750, right? 750 a pop? How do I have... How do I have 11,000 power? Hmm. I feel like something's bugged here. Unless I'm connected to another power source that I just... That I just don't know about. But I don't... I don't know what it would be. Because it looks like it's trying to charge up to 1100, but it can't. Like there's something, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh, I know, I need to eat some food. I'll just come over here to my uh, my hydroponic harvester and grab uh, grab some marble melons and eat those deliciousnesses. Look at that, my gosh, we've done the things. Still no blood oil, but that's okay. Cause uh, it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Also, if you guys wanna check out that uh, sponsor link, I'll have a link down below as well as pinned in the comments. So uh, thank you guys for the support. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.